Hi, my name is Tahar Alang. I'm an applications engineer with Single Cell Battery Chargers Group, supporting the battery chargers and wireless power solution, focusing on the receiver side. In this demo, we'll talk about the receiver of wireless power and we'll provide a lab demo on the BQ51 050V. Let's start with a quick review about different blocks of wireless power. The transmitter consists mainly of an AC-DC converter and the driver of the primary coil. The direction of the power transfer is always from the power transmitter to the power receiver. The key circuits of power transmitter are the primary coil, used to transfer power to the power receiver coil. The power receiver is typically implemented in portable devices. The key circuits of power receiver are the secondary coil, used to receive power from the power transmitter coil. The rectification circuit, used to convert AC to DC. The power conditioning circuit, which buffers the unregulated DC into regulated DC. And the communication circuit, which modulates the signal to the secondary coil. The power receiver is responsible for all communications with the wireless power transmitter as the transmitter is only a listener during power transfer. Texas Instruments offers different solutions on the power receiver side. There are what we call a direct charging solutions. In this solution, the battery charger is integrated inside the receiver. Then, we have a power supply receiver series where the receiver will provide a constant power supply to the district charger. In the direct charging solution, we have two devices. We have the BQ51-050B solution and the BQ51-051B solution. The only difference between the two solutions is on the regulation voltage. The 50B solution will provide a 4.2 volts regulation voltage and the BQ51-051B will provide a 4.35 volt solution. In the power supply solution, you can choose between the 5 volt solution and the 7 volt solution. If a 7 volt solution is needed, please use the BQ51010. If a 5 volt solution is needed, so you're going to need to use the BQ51013A, 013B, or the BQ51011. In the BQ51013B and the BQ51050B receivers, the AFOD detection is enforced. This is part of the WPC 1.1 requirements. The main objective of the AFOD is to avoid temperature rise on foreign objects during power transfer from the transmitter to the receiver. Let's give a quick demo about the BQ51050, which is the direct charging solution. As we can see here, I have the receiver, which is the BQ5150B direct charging solution, and then the transmitter, which is the BQ500210 EVM. I'm powering the transmitter using a 19 volts power supply. Instead of using a real battery, I connected a Kithli as a battery emulator into the receiver. I turn it on and I adjust it to around 3.8 volts battery voltage. Now I'm gonna put the receiver on top of the transmitter and as soon as I did that, I should hear a, a beep indicating that there is a communication between the receiver and the transmitter. Now the power is start transferring from the transmitter to the receiver, charging the battery with around 1 amps as indicated in this ammeter and in the scope picture here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the battery voltage and I should go into a taper as soon as I do that and that is shown in the ammeter here around 700 milliamps charging. The more I increase the voltage of the battery, the current will decrease until termination. The direct charging solution has up to 93% AC-DC efficiency and supports up to 1.5 amp charging current. For more information about this part and other wireless power solutions, please visit ti.com. Thank you for watching this video.